The summer party season in Newcastle really steps up again next weekend and in this video I'm going to tell you about a festival here in Newcastle that you really do not want to miss. It's coming up. Oh, that's refreshing. Welcome back, it's Eddie here from Tyneside Life. Some of you will recognise where I am by that bar just over my right shoulder, that's the Tyne Bar. It sits right on the mouth of the Ouseburn on the River Tyne. Ouseburn, if you've been watching my videos, I've been telling you is one of my favourite places to hang out. It's just, just real, just a real unique vibe about the place. Um, great place to get a drink, to eat some beautiful food in all the various places around here. Watch live music, cracking place. If you haven't been here before, you don't know what you're missing. So next weekend, as I just mentioned before there, uh, for me the summer's really ratcheting up a notch. Not least because Newcastle United kick off their pre-season friendlies at the Gated International Stadium against Gated next Saturday, so I can't wait for that. But also, what this video is all about is the whole of next weekend, Friday night, Saturday and Sunday, it's the Ouseburn Festival. I was here last year for the first time ever and I absolutely loved it. This place, the whole of the Ouseburn Valley, excuse me, was absolutely chock out with people socialising, having a good drink, having some cracking food, street food, pub food, cafes, restaurants, music. It was brilliant. I loved it. And I'm not just saying that. I'm not being sponsored on this video. Um, I'm not being paid by anybody. Loved it. So you need to watch this video right until the very end because I'm going to show you around and we're going to meet some really interesting people who are going to explain things about the festival a little bit better than me. Hello, my name is Maria and I work for the Ousburn Trust. I'm here to tell you a little bit about Ousburn Festival, which is coming up on Saturday the 15th and Sunday the 16th of July. Um, we are so excited to see the festival back. We are back with a two-day event um, and we're really, really excited to bring people who live locally and visitors to the northeast. Uh, an amazing weekend of free activities, markets, food, lots and lots of amazing things. Hiya, uh, my name's Willow, I work at the Time Bar. Uh, we've got a lovely selection of beers, craft ales, there's always a nice vibe here. Uh, next weekend we've got a, a festival on, it's going to be absolutely chocker. People are going to come, get some food, I like the nachos, come and watch some bands, drink some lovely beer and come see how the bar staff. So a little bit of background about the festival. The festival has been going in one way or another since the late 90s. Uh, it's always been community led, not for profit and organised by people who live, work and visit here. Um, so it's a real passion project for everyone involved. Hi, I'm Verity. I'm one of the managers here at Northern Rye in the Ouseburn. Please come down to the Ouseburn Festival next weekend. We have lots of exciting bits and pieces for you. We've got lots of fresh coffee. We've got lots of pastries, organic sourdough bread. We've got lots of toasties, sandwiches, lots and lots of coffee. Iced coffees, it's gonna be a hot one. Please bring your dogs, please bring your family, bring your friends. We'll have lots here on offer for you. You've got the ship in just behind me here, which is directly opposite the Clooney. Just imagine 150 years ago, at the height of the industrial revolution, you've got these hard, tired blokes covered in grit and grime and muck and sweat and blood. They've been working on the iron works and the lead works and the glass works in the tanneries. Although I didn't know they had sunbed shops back then, but they'd come back here to the ship in to quench their thirst. Now, it's a full-on vegan bar. Um, the festival is an amazing showcase of our venues and a lot of what happens at the festival programme is in venues. So one of the highlights that's back this year is Narkfest. Um, Narkfest is a music festival that happens across six different venues. So that's the Clooney, the Cumberland Arms, the Old Coal Yard, Little Buildings, Tyne Bar and The Grove, which is one of our newest local venues. So that's an amazing free music festival. That's just one little part of Usburn Festival. Along with that, we've got um, the Ouseburn Market, we've got a food market in the Woodland, uh, we've got little pop-up markets across Lime Street, which is going to be close to cars and add even more atmosphere to the overall festival. Hello, I'm Lee Renforth from Brinkburn Street Brewery. 
just a quick message to say we'll be open over the weekend of the Usburn Festival. We'll have our big pub open, shutters open for people to come in, facilities to use and take away food and beer available. Uh, we just all like the welcome you in, really looking forward to it. There's going to be boat trips, there's going to be free taster tours of the Victoria Tunnel as well. If you haven't done the Victoria Tunnel tour here at Usburn, can you really call yourself a Geordie? Just saying, you have to do this tour. It's amazing, added it about 18 months ago. It's only a few pounds run by some fantastic volunteers. The uh, old tunnel wagon way used for coal transportation between here and Spittle Tongues, which is about two miles ago, was open for about 18 years, between 1842 and 1860, and then it closed down, and it was used as an air raid shelter in the Second World War. I'm not telling you any more than that. Get yourself booked on a tour. It's flipping brilliant. One of the other big things that I do want to mention is a brand new event as part of Usburn Festival, and it's called Get Together Usburn. It's going to be on Ballast Hills, and that's going to be a massive music, food, craft stall sort of event space. So it's going to be fully rigged with a stage, lots and lots of things happening throughout the weekend. That's all ran um, and managed by the team behind World Headquarters, which is a very old, famous club in Newcastle, as well as Miso Newcastle, which is a new Usburn restaurant. So they're bringing loads and loads of music, amazing sort of nationally renowned DJs going to be there throughout the whole weekend. Come and have a look at the chimney here next to the Clooney and find out why it was twice the height as what it is now before the Second World War kicked off. On the Friday evening, they're actually running an opening concert as well, which is a ticketed event and it's the only ticketed paid for element of Usburn Festival. Festival. And actually, Mr. Scruff uh, is headlining that as well. You've got family and kids. There's lots and lots of activities for kids and families, but there's also loads of stuff on for the grown-ups. Another place you have to visit if you come to Oosburn is the Clooney behind me here. It's rich in industrial history, bought out in the early 80s. It's now a thriving hub for socialising, entertainment, music, art, theatre and cracking food. One of the best places to come in Oosburn for a drink for views is the Free Trade Inn. Look at the view you get here. We've got a little beer garden just here on the hill looking straight down the River Tyne. At all the bridges it's absolutely stunning. Get yourself along to the Free Trade. Of course when it's hot one of the best places in Newcastle to get a gelato ice cream is behind me here at Demure's which is about 50, 60 yards from the Tyne Bar. If you come to Oosburn, you must visit the Oosburn community farm directly behind me, set up in the 80s by a bunch of uh, parents from Baker who wanted to give a piece of nature back to their kids who are basically living in a concrete jungle now. It's a thriving community farm. It's a volunteer organisation run by charities. Now they grow various fruits and vegetables in there. They have various farm animals. So, and they also do great work in the community with vulnerable children and adults, those with, with learning difficulties. But if you're a family, just come down with your kids. Uh, there's a cracking cafe in there. Come and see the animals and you'll love it. We're really excited to see the Uthburn full um, of happy people enjoying the space and enjoying our heritage and enjoying our green spaces. So definitely come check it out and come experience the Usman Festival with us. So what do you do now? Well, you need to do four things. One, put this in your diary, the festival for next weekend, and get yourself along. Two, you need to like this video. Three, you need to subscribe to this channel. Four, you need to watch this video, which tells you a lot more about the history of Usman.